Friends, we must sound the alarm. More and more reports are coming in that enemy is still advancing from the direction of Popasna. And there is a serious threat to the towns of Lysychansk and Severodonetsk, which may find themselves surrounded. Ukraine needs an urgent supply of necessary weapons. Post your on your social media with the hashtags ArmUkraineNow and let us take a closer look at the current situation. Let us start with Severodonetsk. There, the invaders have succeeded in capturing Metelkino village. There are fierce battles for Sorotina and Voronezh. There is also an offensive in Borivsk, and the situation with Lysychansk has become extremely difficult. Several groups have already tried to break into the city itself. This shows that the enemy has managed to make significant advances. In the Lysychansk, there's advancement of the enemy and they are successful in some positions having in mind uh, many many outnumbered uh, Ukrainian forces um, they're still trying to keep the enemy out despite being heavily un outnumbered uh, by personnel and, and equipment at least six points uh, six rocket fires at the same moment and the situation the situation remains critical however the situation should change very soon in favor of the Ukrainians as the military equipment starts reaching Ukrainian small quantities and the first officially documented use of M142 HIMARS in Ukraine has already taken place Meanwhile, the Russian Duma immediately called for the destruction of the U.S. Embassy in Kyiv in re retaliation for the delivery of HIMARS. In addition, the Ukrainians continue to strike the depots behind them with Tochka U missiles. The armory is behind the Russian positions. These are Tochka U missiles that Ukrainians are launching. The first Polish 122MSAU-2S1 Gvozdika is also recorded in Ukraine. According to official data, the army has received about 20 of the self-propelled howitzers. So, my friends, let us hope that the invaders will soon be well toasted. Now let us look at the other directions. In the direction of Kharkiv there are no serious attacks. However, serious shelling continues. The city is being shelled with 500 kg rockets. One of them was removed from a 5-story building. If it, had not if it had exploded, this building would not probably exist. They say that the house was hit a long time ago, but the constant shelling made it impossible to remove the projectile. There are no serious offensive operations in the direction of Izum, although the enemy is building up reserves in that direction. Meanwhile, the actions of the Ukrainian armed forces are increasing the number of captured occupiers near Krasnopil. Glory to Ukraine. The occupiers are also falling to break out of Svetogorsk. The Ukrainians are therefore in full control of the situation here. There is no change in the direction of Kurachovo and Avdiivka, although shelling con continues, despite the fact that the Ukrainians have managed to destroy ammunition depots over the last day. In the direction of Zaporizhia, small Ukrainian advances towards Melitopol are reported. However, this information is not publicly available and not, it has been not confirmed by the Ukrainian force headquarters in any way. Therefore, for the time being, we do not see any official changes on the front line. A similar situation has developed in the direction of Kherson. It is likely that separate Ukrainian tactical groups are already approaching Kherson. The shelling in the Mykolaiv region is also continuing, and the Chernihiv region continues to be shelled. Meanwhile, Lukashenko continues to carry out exercises and installing wooden tanks in the trenches. The Belarusian military fighting for freedom from the invaders in Ukraine has recorded a video address to the members of European Parliament. And they stress that this is not just fighting for Ukrainian forces, this is the initial nucleus of the new Belarusian army. 
It will bring the country freedom from tyranny. We are fighting with Ukrainian brothers for the freedom of Ukraine and Belarus. The, the hour will come when Ukrainians will in turn help us to fight for the freedom of Belarus. But Putin has his own plans. And, and soon we will find out what Putin will ask Lukashenko for what kind of favor. Good evening, enjoy your peaceful leisure time that the Ukrainians need to fight for. Happy weekend!